Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. Today we're going to talk about the for loop and why that could be good to use. Uh, now we talked about the while loop in the last video um, and the do while loop. Now those are great, but the for loop helps you actually just compact together a loop that can run for a certain amount of iterations, maybe five, six times, a hundred times or uh, until something or whatever it's just it's a lot more flexible basically a little harder to write a little more not harder but a little more effort to write basically but uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility like I said now there are two different types of for loops um, there is a for loop regular one and a for each loop which came out in the new C++ 11 standard uh, I want to talk about it right now but I won't I think I'll make a bunch of videos uh, on the new C++11 functionality later on uh, in a bit but this is really good for you to know Google the for each loop you'll understand it probably really quickly but I think this for loop is a little better to show off right now as a tutorial in the beginning and then we'll use that other loop later on uh, but let's just get started so for is not as easy maybe to understand as the while loop because while in English is just that it's while something do something now for is a little bit more like this for a bunch of stuff do this kind of so let me see so the, you write for the keyword the parentheses for it the parameter and the body with the curly braces just like the while loop or the, and the if statement and all that stuff but what you want to do in here is you want to define a, a iterator it's called an iterator now this will keep track of which loop we're on like which number of loop we're on so int i equals zero now I call it I you can call it whatever you want uh, and uh, I just call it I a lot of people do because it's iterator right I uh, and uh, I, I make it an integer you might see it as a size T sometimes don't worry size T is a unsigned integer type uh, which is basically a integer type that can't go less than zero all right so but int works as well you can write unsigned here whatever you want as long as it's an integer it's, it's fine I guess and then we want to do this we want to say i is equal to zero now this is the condition so I'll write the syntax up here key keyword then the parentheses we want to say iterator uh, name and start value that's what it is it starts at zero you can start it at anything else you can start at whatever number you want basically I usually you want to start it at zero uh, iterator name iterator name and start value semicolon like this and then you want to say uh, condition and then we need iterator uh, increment like that so that's the three different things that the for loop takes now you can write a condition in here uh, I'll just write true right now and I'll say I plus plus now we haven't really talked about this yet but we will talk about these operators soon and things you can do with them um, but this just me this is the same thing as writing I equals I plus one so we we add one to I itself so I becomes itself plus one but the short way to write it is plus plus you can also write uh, whoops you can also write it this is called postfix and this is or oh, this is a prefix and this is postfix but prefix means that we want to increment it before doing something and the postfix means we want to do something with the value and then increment it. now this doesn't really matter here I'll talk about that later please don't worry about it don't freak out Google if you want if you can't wait but just don't worry about it just write plus plus I or I plus plus uh, and you should be fine um, so th what this is gonna do is gonna create a variable check it for a condition and increment it until this this is what is always checked this condition in the middle is always checked so while this keep doing this to the iterator so if I just say std c out i new line just keep writing out i on and on while true while it's true well it's just keep incrementing i on and on and on and on all the time now obviously you don't want that say we want 
it to run five times. So imagine, or think like this, i is zero, and we'll increment i for every loop, add one to i for every loop. You can add more than one, you can add two, three, four, whatever you want, but usually you want to increment it one for each loop. But the condition we can change, we can say why i is less than five, we want to we want to increment we want the loop to go on for five iterations well it's less than five so we're gonna do zero one two three four and then the program is gonna end so because it checks this condition every time the loop and the next loop it's gonna increment i go check this again loop it increment i keep going like this like this like this all right, so this could be really, really good to have if you have maybe an array of stuff. Now we'll talk about arrays later in the, the coming videos and then we'll use the for loop a lot. But imagine you have a box. An array is basically a, several, a big box with several smaller boxes in it like this. And you wanna go through, you know how many boxes you have. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. All right, now you wanna print all their values out you want to do a C out for each value. Now you know you have seven boxes. You're just going to make a for loop with seven here. And then you're going to say stdc out uh, some variable for a box. Maybe it's called box one. And then you're just going to say at position i. And it's going to print that out. So i keep starts at zero, goes up to six. And that's seven values, zero up to six. And it's going to print all those out. Now this is a little over course or whatever you want to call it. It's too much. For you to learn right now but it's just an example of why you'd use this so basically you can do whatever you want here you can write other stuff as well let's see let me show you how you can use a, a for loop um, let me just print out i here whatever just as usual now you have one condition here you can have more than one condition you can have and i is um is not five or not three Okay, so what this is gonna do, while i is less than seven and i is not three, keep doing this loop. So as, as soon as we hit one, two, it's gonna quit because one of these conditions was not true. Okay, so you can just add a bunch of stuff here as well. You can have more than one uh, increment thingy. You can do a bunch of stuff and you can have a lot of fun with this. All right, and you can have double as well. You can have a for loop and a for loop like this. See, it made a size t. Let's just do int. Um, then obviously, if you have a for loop and a for loop, you want to have different variables for these. You don't want to have the same name because they're different iterators. So k is less than seven, like this. Um, and this is kind of, if you can see, it, it's going to make kind of a 2D grid. It's going to be seven rows and seven columns. It's going to be like a 2D grid like this. And it's, it's, uh, so it's so a way you can check this out. You can just type out I and then K. So for each increment in I, one loop, it's going to do seven increments of K and then go one more in I, seven times K, one more I, seven times K, and so on, so on, so on. So I hope you see what's going to happen here. What's going to happen is we're going to write a bunch of stuff. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, up to 6, w then it goes to 1, this is our i, and this is our k, up to 6, 2, up to 6, 3, up to 6, and so on and so on. So just play around with this, see if you can understand it. I hope I explained it in a good way, uh, and a little bit what you can do with it. Uh, it's, it's really good to know, for loops are really good, and we'll talk about those as we go along uh, forward. Alright, so please just keep watching these videos if you want, watch someone else's, whatever. Keep learning, keep trying hard to learn. You will all sink in, I promise. But I'm really proud of you guys uh, working hard, alright? So take care, and I'll see you in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.